Welcome to another mini video from 2dgameartguru.com. Today I'm working in Affinity Designer to show you how to quickly create and apply a watermark in different ways. In this video I use a combination of text and graphics, make it a group and turn the group into a symbol. The symbol allows me to make changes to all copies instantaneously. I duplicate the symbol, use the power duplicate, duplicate the row use the power duplicate and then select a section and duplicate that into the gaps. The power duplicate ensured that the spacing is even. When I change the fill color of the dot from blue to red, it changes all copies instantaneously. You can easily add to the symbol, modify it or replace its content. Save the file as a new Affinity Designer file. Drag it into the document you want watermarked and you can scale, rotate and position it to match. The watermark file is now embedded in the pumpkin design. You can edit it with the edit document. You can also make changes to the layer blend mode. Setting it from normal to overlay gives you a different color mix. The colors of the background show a lot brighter. While a multiply darkens the parts of the background that are covered by the watermark. You can change the layer's opacity, make the watermark more or less transparent or add a layer effect like color overlay or gradient overlay or even an outer glow. The same applies to adjustment layers. Even though I have not used them in this video, you can add an adjustment layer to the embedded file. Instead of working with an external file, you can make the watermark an asset. Group all the symbols, drag them into the asset panel a small thumbnail will appear there. Open up your document. The assets work globally and are loaded when Affinity starts. You can just drag the asset from the asset panel into the document, scale it, rotate it, and modify it, just like the embedded file before. Instead of an embedded file, you have the group of vector shapes right inside the document. Alternatively, create a bitmap fill from the design. I duplicate the artboard, reduce it to a single symbol, center the symbol to the artboard, duplicate it to place a copy in each of the four corners. With the snapping turned on, it's easy to align the center of the symbol to the corners and create a seamless pattern. Make sure the document color is set to transparent so you see the checkerboard background and export the artboard as a PNG image. Increase the size to avoid visible pixelation. Switch to the design you want to watermark. Create a rectangle on top covering the whole design and give that rectangle a gradient fill. When you set the type to bitmap, it will bring up the file menu, allows you to select the file you just created and bring it into the design. It will automatically tile. You have the handles to rotate and scale. You can use the blend modes, the layer effects or the adjustment layers just like before. Even though this is a fill, you can't save it as a swatch like a gradient, but you can save it as a style. Bring up the style panel. The menu, the little burger icon in the top right, allows you to create a new category or a style from selection. Create the style and apply it to any shape you want. I applied it to a circle instead of the rectangle, covering only a part of the image. A nice gimmick to add is maybe a blurred mask to below. I duplicate the circle, fill it wide, add a blur and set it as a mask to below. My watermark is still visible in the center and fully editable and only blurred on the edges. 
play around with the different options and the complexity of the design to find the approach that works best for you. The possibilities are only limited by your imagination. You can use text, you can use a logo, you can use a combination of both, play with different colors, see what works and have fun in the process. I hope you enjoyed this little video and learned something new. If you did, please subscribe to my channel, leave a like and let me know in the comments what you would like to see on this channel and I will see you again soon.